Microsoft Link 2010 ushers in a new connected user experience transforming every communication to a more collaborative and engaging interaction that is accessible from anywhere. In a previous demo, we showed you how Presence is integrated throughout Office, SharePoint and Exchange and how it enables users to reach the right person at the right time. In this demonstration, we'll look at the intuitive nature and ease of use for Microsoft Link's multi-party conferencing and enterprise voice functionality. Link 2010 offers easy multi-party conferencing, whether you are having an audio conference, video conference or web conference. Link 2010 also enables users outside your organization to join the conference through an easy-to-use lightweight web client when the rich experience is required or simply by dialing into an audio conference. There are two ways to initiate conference calls. One is ad hoc and the other is by scheduling the conference call in Outlook. In this demo, we will start by looking at the ad hoc conferencing feature of Microsoft Link 2010 before moving on to the scheduled experience Scott sees that the Product Manager April is online and available for communication. He invites her for an IM chat. April decides, after a brief IM exchange, to have a phone conversation with Scott, as the issue is quite technical and better discussed over the phone. April initiates a video call with a single click. April decides that she needs Kai, the product specialist who helped design many of the features of the product under discussion, on the call as well. April sees that Kai is available for communication. She simply drags and drops Kai from her buddy list into the conference. Kai decides to downgrade the call to audio only. He completes this with a single click. The conference continues with audio only. No context is lost when the call is switched from IM to video, or from video to audio only. Scott decides to record the call, as there are many technical details which he may have to refer to later. He starts recording the conversation. The recording can easily be stored on a SharePoint site for anyone to access and listen to. After April and Kai have provided the information that Scott needs to refer to later, Scott stops recording. Link processes the recording and will notify Scott when the recording is ready. As the discussion gets more and more technical, Scott asks Kai if he would walk him through the product. Kai opens a website showing him more details of the product and then uses Link to share the website with Scott and April. Scott accepts the request so that he can see the website which Kai is sharing. He then requests control from Kai so he can navigate through it personally. Kai must accept Scott's request before Scott can take control. After a few clicks, Scott releases control Link informs Kai that Scott has released control, and Kai stops sharing the website. Scott now wants to share a PowerPoint presentation that is relevant to the discussion they are having. He clicks on the Share button, which gives him an option to share, upload, or do quick polling. Scott shares the PowerPoint presentation and walks April and Kai through the presentation. April chooses to use the feature in Microsoft Link, which enables people to navigate a PowerPoint presentation independently from the presenter. When she has finished navigating the PowerPoint presentation independently, April returns to the presenter's view. Finally, Scott opens a whiteboard which they can use as a common share area for discussion. After a few minutes, Scott gets the information he needs and after thanking Kai and April, closes the conferencing session. That's how simple it is to enable a conference including multiple modes of communication as required in a free-flowing interaction with very limited restriction and never needing to disconnect to switch clients or find contacts. Next, we'll look at the scheduled conferencing experience. A scheduled conference call has all the capabilities we walked through in the ad hoc conferencing scenario. In this demo, we will start by scheduling a conference call, showing how easy and intuitive it is to do so. In the first part, we saw Scott, the product manager at Fabricam, having a discussion on the product they are planning to release with members of the product team, Kai and April. With the information he gathered in the meeting, he completed his presentation to the senior management. The review went very well, and he wanted to share some of the feedback he received with Kai and April. He decides to schedule a conference call to do that. The integration of Microsoft Link 2010 with Office means that scheduling a conference instead of a face-to-face -face meeting is as simple as the click of a mouse. Scott starts inviting people he wants in the conference. He invites Kai and April from the product team. He also invites a partner who collaborates closely on this product from an external organization. 
with an attendee from an external organisation, Scott wants to set some security options. He sets the option to have the external attendee wait in the lobby until he grants them access. Scott knows that the external person can choose from several options when joining the conference. Just audio if the person has only access to a phone. Audio and web conferencing if the person has a phone and a browser. Finally, full conference experience, including voice over IP, video and IM, if the person is willing to download a free, thin client. After verifying the details, Scott sends the invite out. It's as easy for Scott to join the online meeting as it was to set it up. Shortly before the meeting is due to begin, Outlook displays a reminder. Scott simply clicks the Join Online button to join the conference. When the external person joins, Scott will need to accept him. As mentioned earlier, a scheduled online meeting has all the rich features of an ad hoc call. It is easy to set up and join with full conferencing experience for all the participants, irrespective of whether they are within or outside the organisation. To learn more, start a free trial or find a partner, visit www.microsoft.com forward slash link.